And welcome back to the Kansas City Royals franchise mode here on MLB The Show 23. This is going to be game number two of the World Series between the Royals and the St. Louis Cardinals. Now, if you've missed the postseason run up until this game here in the World Series, we'll go check that out. The playlist is on the channel for this Royals franchise mode. But if you missed game number one between the Royals and the Cardinals, well, it is a rematch of the 2025 World Series between St. Louis and Kansas City, where the Cardinals did end up taking that series in seven games. Now, admittedly, that 2025 World Series was a little bit boring. It was a low scoring series, but the rematch takes place in 2027 and game one was won with a walk-off home run by Aaron Judge. 2-1 was your final for the Kansas City Royals. We will see if we get another spectacular finish here tonight. Shane Bieber takes the mound for the Kansas City Royals and for the Cardinals, it will be the lefty in, of course, Eric Lauer. So we've got a huge game number two on tap from Kauffman Stadium here in Kansas City, Missouri. And folks, if you have not yet though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for some more Royals franchise mode here on the channel as Cardinals and Royals. We'll do it once more as we head to St. Louis after this for game number three. Shane Bieber has not been very good so far in the postseason. 6.43 ERA, 0-2 record, two starts, but he still gets the assignment here in game two before the Cy Young gets game three. That man, of course, is Brady Singer. So one out after that line out to Bobby Witt Jr. Brendan Donovan comes up on a fastball. And he's going to pop one out to Bobby Witt Jr. Two gone now for the three spot. That means Luis Arise on the one to Arise. Puts one on the ground right to Shane Bieber. And it is a easy one, two, three, top of the first for the Royals. On the bottom of the first, Eric Lauer gets the start. 5.06 ERA, one in a record, two starts in the playoffs. Again, both him and Bieber have struggled somewhat in the postseason despite their teams making it to this point. Bobby Witt with a horrible first that bat. He's been really good in the playoffs until there. He strikes out. Same can be said with Luis Garcia. Two gone for last night's hero, Aaron Judge on the 2-2 pitch. Judge puts one into right field. Alec Burleson goes back to make the play. We move to the top of the second. Polar Bear Pete up first for St. Louis. Hits one opposite way. That ball's going to get down. Pete Alonzo will have extra bases. Likely a double on that knuckle curve that he pushes into right field. Pete Alonzo's on with the leadoff double. Nolan Arenado now in the 2-2 pitch. He'll swing right through a fastball up and in. One out for the sixth spot and Jordan Walker on the 2-2. Got him as well. Walker gets struck out, fastball up and in. Two down for Joey Bart, the catcher on the one, two, and Bart swings through a fastball as well. Same spot three times in a row, but Shane Bieber striking out any Cardinal who steps up to the dish. Santander will lead off the bottom of the second by flying out. Salvi Perez now in the two, two. Hits a curveball pretty well. Deep left field. Jordan Walker back up, it's gone. Salvador Perez, one, nothing here in the second inning. His fifth. Home run of this postseason goes 393 feet and the Kansas City Royals get out to an early lead here in game number two. One nothing in Salvador Perez batting from the five spot. Him and Aaron Judge, man, have been killing it. Same with Bobby Witt Jr. All three of those guys batting over 300 so far in the playoffs. MJ Melendez will strike out. Garrett Cooper, of course, playing tonight with the lefty pitching to Eric Lauer. That means Kyle Schwarber again will see the bench tonight. Cooper flies out as we go into the third inning. Burleson up first for St. Louis. He's going to hit one in the air into center field. And, of course, the lefty pitcher. That means no Zach Veen. Instead, Gavin Cross again. Maybe we should just go Zach Veen instead, but I don't know. I gave Cross the night tonight as Marcelo Mayer will fly out into left field to MJ Melendez. Bubba Thompson down the two on the leadoff man, hits one up the middle. Kevin Valentine dives. He bats it down, but Thompson's 95 speed will put him on first base pretty easily. So Thompson will be on first for a big spot for Brendan Donovan, the DH on the ground, right to Garrett Cooper. And on a 3-1 pitch, that'll do it for the third inning, at least for the Cardinals bats, because the bottom of the third belongs to the Royals. Kevin Valentine hits a fastball opposite way. There is a fly out, one gone for Gavin Cross on the 1-1 cross. Hits one up the middle, easy play though by the second baseman in Luis Arise. Two outs for now Bobby Witt, and Witt is gonna hit that high fastball deep in the air right center field. That ball's got some carry. Going back is Bubba Thompson. He can't get to it. Off the wall, Bobby Witt's got himself an easy stand-up triple. He'll be on third base with two outs for Luis Garcia, and Garcia is just gonna kinda get jammed on a fastball, and that ball's gonna be caught. We go to the top of the fourth. one nothing is our score. Luis Arise comes up first for St. Louis, and Arise hits one in the air to Gavin Cross in center field. One out now for the four spot. That means Pete Alonso. He owns a double earlier tonight. Now Alonso puts one on the ground, and he will now be one for two as he grounds out to Kevin Valentine. Five spot up. That means Nolan Arenado. Of course, Alonso and Arenado, the big bats in the middle of the lineup. 
But again, Arenado neutralized as we go into the bottom of the fourth. Aaron Judge chops one over the middle. We'll see if Marcelo Mayer can make the play, and he will. He puts away Judge at first base as Anthony Santander now steps up on the one-two. It's a guy that we've talked about who struggled mightily so far in the postseason. You can't take him off the lineup, but man, you just want Santander to kind of find his footing, I guess, in this playoffs. Salvi Perez grounds out to end the inning. So again, it's a very achievable one run by the Cardinals. It's just that Shane Bieber is pitching really well. And again, this series has kind of been reminiscent of 2025. I mean, again, it was a really low scoring World Series. It wasn't like last year's World Series against Atlanta, but maybe that's just kind of the way the Cardinals play. The Cardinals are a really good pitching team. Their bats aren't that great, if we're being honest. I mean, their highest average guy is Joey Bart, who's batting seventh at 370. But other than that, you got what, Brandon Donovan at 283 and then Bubba Thompson at 273. The team's not very good at hitting, and their pitching is pretty good. Eric Lauer has been doing his job so far. Again, he gave up a solo shot to Salvador Perez, but that's what's going to happen to you in a game against this Royal squad as Garrett Cooper going to get one to go through down the first baseline. Pio Alonso can't put a glove on it. Cooper will be on first with a single, making way for Kevin Valentine, and Valentine hits one on the ground. A slow roller gets through. First and second, one out for the Royals. They are threatening. Gavin Cross puts one to the pitcher. Lauer to second. Oh! Throw is offline to short, and that's gonna score a run. Cooper scores. Somehow we get an RBI for Gavin Cross on the error. Second and third, one out. Bobby Witt on the ground. Hey, puts the ball in place, scores a run. Three, nothing now. Our score for Kansas City, all based on that Eric Lauer error. Garcia strikes out, but again, look at the score. Three, nothing Kansas City as we move on to the top of the sixth. But again, with the Cardinals, they're not a great hitting team. And for us, we've got the pitching and, you know, at times we can hit. So maybe that's just kind of the game of baseball the Cardinals do play because it's been back-to-back -back World Series at least so far in this one in 2027. The Cardinals have not hit the ball that much. I mean, again, that ball's rocked by Arise. I was going to say we were a pitch away from going six shot at innings. As, of course, Luis Arise puts one deep in the right field. He'll have himself a ground and double. But still, pitch away here. Peter Alonso center field. That ball's going to hang up for Gavin Cross. St. Louis, they scored one run in game number one. They've got none through six. And now they'll turn to Noah Syndergaard out the bullpen. Yes, Thor is pitching for St. Louis. Aaron Judge first. He'll strike out. Nice sinker right there by Syndergaard. One out for Salvador Perez on the 3-2 pitch. Perez will draw a walk after a Santander walk. So first and second, one out for MJ Melendez. And Melendez puts one to right field. That ball gets through. We will send Santander to the plate. Here comes the throw. He's in there. Throw, I guess the tag misses Santander. 4-0 Kansas City. Garrett Cooper now gets jammed, but it gets down in right field. That's going to score at least one. It's going to score two. Cooper, I think, has made it 5-0, and he's now made it 6 nothing. I mean, the Royals running away with this one now. They turn away from Syndergaard, and they bring in Michael McGreevy. He's going to get two strikeouts of both Kevin Valentine and Gavin Cross. But now we go to the seventh inning. The Royals up by six runs. You probably don't even have to bring in Jordan Hicks for the spot, but we're going to do it just to get a shutdown inning and really just, again, slow any momentum St. Louis is trying to pick up right now, at least with our starting pitcher and Shane Bieber going out the game. Arenado pops out to Luis Garcia. Jordan Walker on the 2-2. Swing and a miss on a sinker down and in. Two gone for Joey Bart, and Bart will draw a walk on the circle change. So now up Alec Burleson on the 1-2 pitch. He's going to pull one deep right field. There is Aaron Judge. We move on to the bottom of the seventh, up by six runs. All Kansas City, but looking for more as we will start first with Bobby Witt Jr. He had a triple in his last at bat. This time, Witt's going to ground out to short. One out now for the two spot, which means Luis V. Garcia on the two. One Garcia up the middle. That ball, though, is kind of just knocked down by the pitcher, Michael McGreevy. Two outs for the three spot. Aaron Judge has been held hitless since his walk-off home run. He's going to stay that way. We go now to the eighth inning. Andrew Chafin will now come in to pitch for Kansas City. The lefty will likely attempt to pitch two straight innings to get us out of here as Marcelo Mayer up first, swing and a miss, a fastball up and in. Bubba Thompson on the 3-1. He'll hit one up the middle. Kevin Valentine, though, should have it. 95 speed, but Valentine it beats Thompson to the bag. Brandon Donovan now in the 2-2, lines one into right center field, and that's going to be a two-out single for St. Louis. Making way now for the contact machine in Luis at eyes on the 2-2 pitcher eyes. Strikes out slider away. To the bottom of the eighth. Salvador Perez up now with one out and he absolutely hammers the baseball. Deep center field. Perfect, perfect. You know what's happening. It's out of here. Seven nothing Kansas City. It's a blowout here in game number two. His sixth of the postseason for Salvador Perez. 425 feet. 
Salvi adds on his second home run of the game. What a year, what a postseason, and the Royals are likely on their way to being two games away from world champions in back-to-back -back seasons. Chafin will strike out Alonso. Nolan Arenado, he'll strike out as well. Final out for the Cardinals, it will be Jordan Walker, and on the one-two, he strikes out as well. They can't touch somehow, 92 mile an hour up and in, but we'll take it. Seven, nothing is the victory for the Kansas City Royals. They, it's a one-sided beat down here in game number two over the St. Louis Cardinals. Shane Bieber picks up his first win of the 2027 postseason, and we will now turn the series back, still in Missouri, but now going on over to St. Louis where the Royals look to put away the Cardinals once and for all at Busch Stadium in St. Louis, Missouri. But again, the Royals are victorious in game number two. They double the amount of hits the Cardinals have and they outscore them again by seven and they pitch a combined shutout against this Cardinals squad. Shout out to Shane Bieber, shout out to Jordan Hicks, and shout out to Andrew Chafin for shutting it down. So folks, thank y'all for watching episode number 110 of the Kansas City Royals franchise mode here on MLB The Show 23. If you haven't yet though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more. Make sure to leave a like if you are enjoying the series so far. Give us a hand for watching and Mamba forever.